Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL Store Processor tutorial for beginners. This is our part 7. Inside this video, we are going to discuss about more about our parameters. Now inside this video, we are going to create a scenario in which we are going to return three different values from output parameters. In our last video, we had seen that how can we pass input parameters as well as output parameters to handle inside MySQL stored processor. In parameters basically used to make conditions, but the out parameters basically used to get the result from the stored processor. Now if I back to phpMyAdmin, now here we are inside a database called learn underscore data table. Here we have a table something called tb underscore users. Inside this table as we can see that here we have a column something called a score. This is the scoring marks actually obtained by each of the candidate or each of the user. Now if I scroll down to the list as we can see that from it 1 to 10 all the candidates has scored some marks. Now from this table we want to actually perform some logics or some calculations. So if I back to slide go to next tab. Now what will be the task? Task is that we want to make a single stored processor which basically for, for, performs three different tasks. The first task something called county users who has scored less than 35 marks. So if I back to phpMyAdmin, now by seeing all these data, as we can see that here we have a number called 33. If I go down, here we have a number 33. It means that only two records we have who has scored less than 35 marks. So we need to calculate it by using MySQL stored processor. Again, we have second task something called find average score of all 10 users we have to find average score of all these Chinese users. Now next, list that count user who has scored more than 60 marks. Now inside this list, as we can see that more than 60, like here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 users got more than 60 marks. So we need to calculate all these tasks by using a single proce stored processor. It means we are going to take the three output parameters. So how can we handle this situation? So if I back to phpMyAdmin, click on database. Now inside this routine section, I'm going to create a stored processor. This is stored processor basically gives all the three outputs like less than, less than 35, average score and more than 65. Now if I click on add routine, now, now let's see that get task points. Now if I back to our slide again, now we have to make less than 35. So firstly, we need to take a output parameter for less than 35. So let's say less. This is variable name less than 35. It should be int. Now again, I want to add one more output parameter to store the value of the average score value. So go here, output parameter, let's say avg score. Next, I'm going to add something called output parameter again. This is all about more than 60 marks. So let's say more than 60. All these three values, so I think average score should be inside this case, should be let's say float value because it should be something called 33.25 or something the float value. Now inside this body section, now we are going to write our own logic to calculate all the three points. So firstly, we need to declare our body. So let's say begin and here go at the top and let's say that we have three output parameters. So let's say select. If I again open this database into a new tab, go to structure, DBL users and these all are the data. Now we are going to perform firstly about less than 35. So let's say that select count let's say id from tp underscore users where let's say where 
score value is less than 35. This is the first query that we had written to calculate about the less than 35 number users. Now we are going to store this result into the parameter we have taken something called less than 35. This is the first output parameter we have made to store that result. Now in the second query, I am going to write let's say select average score of score column, let's say average score of the score column into the output parameter average score where let's say that ID is less than 11 means we want the first 10 average score value from ID 1 to ID 10 it means the ID should be less than 11 so back here again now I'm going to put the same condition right here so if I copy this ID value and go here and putting it here because also we want that it should manipulate it, the result of the first 10 records now next we have calculated successfully the two values let's say that select and finally count let's say ID from and uh, actually here we forgot to add the table name so let's say from tb underscore users and this is the average score value go right here so from tb underscore users where id less than 11 and a score value a score value is also we want greater than 60 value now this is the thing that we want now we want to store that result into let's say into this output parameter so successfully guys we had created a stored processor where we are going to perform three different tasks and successfully we have stored all these value to our three output parameters now if I scroll down let's hit that root at the rate localhost again scroll down definer is ok and it contains the SQL value so successfully guys we had created a stored processor which performs our logics now I'm clicking on go button so as we can see that a stored processor successfully created now here is the stored processor called get task points so if I click on execute button now as we can see that here we are getting three different values less than 35 it means that here we have two users who has marks less than 35 average score and more than 60 value so successfully guys we had completed about the scenario of this task so how can we write these things into mysql store pusher command so if i open here let's say delimiter if i again back to our php my admin go to sql tab and let's say delimiter let's say delimiter and here let's say create procedure let's say get task points and inside this we have to pass three parameters so out let's say the first parameter is something less than 35 and it should be the int value again the second parameter called out let's say average score and it should be float value the third output parameter is something called out let's say more underscore than underscore 60 and it should contain the int value so successfully we have created the syntax for declaring our stored processor and finally begin and end here all the logics we have to write inside this begin and end block so if I copy all this syntax back to slide pasting it here now again back to phpMyAdmin go to our routine section inside this routine section here is the stored processor click on edit and copy all the logics from here back to slide and I am going to paste right here inside this all the logics so successfully also we have created our stored processor using command
So simply, we can understand that if we want more than one value as the output parameter from a stored processor, we can create several several output parameters for that. And also, if you want to put some conditional statements so that user ID equal to something like this, email address is something like this. So in that condition, we have to pass some input parameters. As many as for the output parameters, if you want to pass many more input variables to our stored processor, we can also pass that. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.